Factsverse presents… A new organ in the body has been accidentally discovered. It seems that at least once a week we hear about a new discovery made in science and medicine. The most recent discovery could change the face of medicine as we know it. Researchers accidentally discovered what could be an entirely new organ in the human body. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Thanks to science and technology, we know more about the human body now than ever before. We've been studying the human body for literally thousands of years. After a person dies, they often go through an autopsy, and this is where the body is cut up after death so that doctors can determine the cause of death. There have been millions of autopsies performed over the years, and somehow scientists have recently discovered a new organ. They weren't looking for it either. It was actually found accidentally. There are a variety of tests available that can take pictures of our insides. Well, this new organ was never spotted on these tests either, but for good reason. If you're not looking for anything and you don't know what you're looking for, you would never find it. This is also true in medicine. Thanks to this new discovery, doctors are now able to explain where much of the fluid in your body sits. This organ could even have something to do with the source of lymph, which is the fluid that's essential for the immune system to function properly. This new organ is so important that it could play a huge role in maintaining your health and also from preventing diseases. The organ itself is made up of fluid-filled channels. The reason this organ has never been discovered during an autopsy is that it's not a standalone organ. It's actually an organ wrapped around the other organs in your body. For many years, since we learned what we know about the human body, we believed that the lungs, the digestive tract, and even your skin were surrounded by dense connective tissue that's very tough. Turns out we were wrong in believing that. In fact, this tissue is full of spaces that are supported by strong connective proteins that resemble meshwork. This is what keeps the tissues from collapsing in, and it allows the fluid in the body to flow freely. When it comes to the fluid in the body, doctors and scientists have an idea now where it all goes. They say that our cells hold most of the fluid in the body. The circulatory system also carries a great deal of fluid. The final third, though, has always been written off as being intestinal. Some scientists believe that this fluid is just floating around between the organs and the cells, and they've called this interstitial. A paper was published in Scientific Advances where the researchers claimed that this interstitium should be classified as its own organ rather than a place for the fluid to go. The scientists and researchers didn't just make this up to come up with something that might make sense. In fact, they have plenty of ideas regarding this new organ. In many cases, cancer can spread to unrelated organs. Many researchers believe that it is the interstitium that is responsible for this. They also believe that the interstitium is responsible for the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. They believe that as you age, the channels underneath the tissue of the skin can fold in on themselves, causing the wrinkles of your skin. The researchers who are sure that this is actually a new organ got the evidence while conducting routine endoscopies of patients. In most cases, the doctors found that there was tissue that was surrounding the bile duct that should have been dense and relatively solid. Instead, when they got a closer look, they found that the layer of tissue was covered in a distinctive pattern. There was a doctor who was curious, therefore he decided to use the same device to look under the same patient's skin and nose. He found the exact same thing that he found surrounding the bile duct. The key to making this discovery was using the finest magnification possible to look at the living tissue. Up until now, doctors, scientists, and researchers have used fixed tissue microscope slides when they were studying the skin and the human body. It's a pretty complicated process. In order for the doctors to do these types of tests, they would need to take a very thin slice of the skin. It would be treated with chemicals. The structures would then be dyed so that the entire structure could be easily identified when it's placed under the microscope. All of this work, however, can take the fluid out of the tissue. Also, it can cause the fluid-filled compartments of the interstitium to collapse. Because of all this damage caused to the skin being studied, doctors had assumed that each of the flattened compartments was just tears in the tissue. The doctors, scientists, and researchers are going to have a lot of work now ahead of them. If they're going to positively define this structure and prove to others that their findings have merit, it's going to take a great deal of work and study. 
It's going to take work and the ability to positively define the structure for other people to get on board and agree that this deserves to be an organ on its own rather than just a type of tissue. According to Neil Theis, this major finding can potentially create huge advances in medicine. He also believes that the samples of interstitial fluid could become a great diagnostic tool. There are many people in the medical and scientific communities who believe that this is one of the biggest medical breakthroughs that we've seen in years. There are many doctors who believe that this is a huge medical breakthrough and it could result in many more in the future. Subscribe for more!